Well, the name's Bond, Alicia Bond, and she wasn't shaken or stirred. Well, I caught up with her after she drove Gold Sovereign into fourth place behind Stable Mate Superfast Pat at Clubman Angle today. Well, Alicia, well done. A nice effort behind uh, Gold Sovereign, finishing fourth behind Superfast Pat. Yeah, it was very good. Good to see Josh get the winner. Yeah, we might make mention that Josh is your partner. Yeah, yeah, he's doing very good right now. Yeah. Well, he certainly is. Three at Newcastle on Monday. Backs up at Clubman Angle so far with two winners. Yeah, he's got a very good strike rate at the moment. Had seven drives yesterday for three wins, three, three seconds and a fourth. Uh, certainly the calming influence of uh, your presence must be helping him out. <laughs> I'd like to say that. <laughs> Well, let's go back to the start, and uh, you're late getting into the mini trotters, which is the usual path a lot of our latest talented trainers and drivers take, and what was the reason behind the slow start? No, well, when I was younger, they told me that I was just a little bit too small to do the mini trotters, and then when I got to seven, I said, oh, I'm just going to give it a go anyway, and then it went from there. Your father, Jamie Bond, who's a noted trainer driver in his own right, a hobby trainer driver from the Maitland area, put on a lot of stipulations. Yeah, he said that I had to make sure I knew how to gear up and ungear my pony before I could get out there and start driving. You're fourth generation, so harness racing was always in your blood. Yeah, yeah, it's been passed down. Dad, Dad's done very well in it. Now he's an electrician full time, um, but he, he does okay for a hobbyist. Now, Alicia, you've had a number of awards along the way, commencing in 2014, and one that certainly interests me, the Hunter Academy of Sports, which was put into place by the late great, and I say that with the uh, true sense of the word, Ross Gig, a very good friend of all of us in harness racing. Yeah, yeah, Ross was very good. He put in a lot of good um, programs for the kids up at the Hunter Valley. Um, but yeah, it was a very good program. And what did it involve? It involved like way of how to present yourself, physical, mentally, um, just like general hygiene, um, how to, you know, inspect a horse. Um, yeah, just all the basics pretty much, but yeah, it was very good. Your career in the mini trotting world certainly took off and in 2015 you finished second to a young bloke who's doing all right for himself called Cameron Hart. Yeah, yeah, it was very good. And then I also won the Miracle Mile here in, in maybe 2016 on Velvet's Little Star as well. Yeah, that's a horse that Cameron, Cameron had energiser going around, I think, for his last start. So it was a fine farewell for Cameron. Yeah, yeah, Cameron's doing very well as well. But yeah, it was very good. You also had a wonderful experience in 2016 representing New South Wales in the Lizzie of Roseland Drivers Challenge in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, that was a very good experience to get to go over to New Zealand. Um, we drove on two days at Alexandra Park and I ended up coming third overall, which was very good. Yeah, Kerry Tomlinson took out that particular series, but certainly for a young girl, that was a marvellous experience. Yeah, yeah, it was very good. I had the opportunity with mum and dad to go travel from Auckland to Christchurch as well while we were over there, which was very good. You've also enjoyed success as an owner. You're still waiting for that elusive winner as a driver at this particular stage after 30 attempts, but our reactor, driven by your sister and also owned by your sister, Maddie Bond. Yeah, yeah. We bought him at Bathurst in 2017, I think it was, and um, we bought him down here for a prep, but he had, didn't have much luck, and it's built him a lot of confidence now that he's back home. He's doing pretty well. You're keeping yourself very busy. You're working for Kerry and Turner Stable on a part-time basis. You also work with Acrogate here at the Clubman Angle site, certainly one of Clubman Angle's value sponsors. Yeah, yeah, Acrogate's pretty good. I, yeah, Rob and Kerry, they're pretty good to me. I, we live on their property and, they're, yeah, they, I help them out when I can. If I'm on late at my childcare work, I'll help them out in the morning before I go to work and go to the races whenever I can. And, yeah, they're pretty good to me. Before we get on to the uh, child care role, what's your role with Acrogate? I'm a casual at the moment. I only work weekends, so I work full time at the child care and I, um, I work Saturdays most all day um, and then some Sundays. But we do rehab for like gallopers and pre-training pre as well as like for the trotters as well. But yeah, it's pretty good. The child care centre is just up the road here, Bellbirds? Yeah, yeah, I work there four days a week, Monday to Thursday. It, yeah. It's pretty good. I have most of the trotting kids there, so it's, yeah, pretty good. And how old are those children that you're looking after? I work, uh, I look after two to three year olds. Yeah. Now, what, what's easy to look after? Two or three year olds or horses? Horses, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, Alicia, it's been great to catch up with you. Hopefully, that Lucy win in the uh, Sulky will come very shortly, but congratulations with the career so far. Working with those children in particular, very important. But, um, 
by the way, Archie, does he's not in that school anymore, is he? No, Archie goes to prep, but he's big five tomorrow. So hopefully, yeah, he has a good birthday and he'll go to prep. If I know being a Morris, he's probably running pre the yeah. preschool as well. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Well, it's great to catch up there and uh, let's hope we can see you in the wheel circle very shortly. Thank you.